Hey guys, it's Melissa. In this video, I am going to show you how to add the Roland Perf Cut contour line. So this is different than the cut contour line, which is um, that kiss cut that you get when you cut to um, your Roland BN20 and you create that in Affinity. This is a perf cut line which cuts directly through both the, uh, the film or the material and the backing. It's really good for making stickers or separating your designs. Um, so it's basically uh, not a kiss cut. It's the opposite of a kiss cut. It goes all the way through. So how do you do that? Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we need to set up that line color, give that line color a, um, a uh, name here in Affinity. So we've already done that with the, the cut contour line. If you haven't done that, I have another video on that. This one we're going to do the same way by going to View in Affinity and then Studio. Once you're in Studio, you're going to click Swatches. That is going to bring up the swatch menu over here. Now I have already created this, but I'm going to show you how to do it as well. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to the little hamburger menu, sorry it's getting cut off here, and we're gonna click the one that says add global color, okay? So you can pick whatever color you want. Actually, it's not specific for um, this the perf cut line, all right? I, I am just doing it all zeros and 75, so it's this gray. Actually, let's just do it a little bit different. Um, you don't wanna do it something that's like a real common color that you're gonna all right, so like that. And then we will name this, we need to name this very specific. It needs to be called Perf Cut Contour, all right? And then you're gonna click Spot, and you're gonna say Add. So that has added that color to your document. We wanna add it to um, the application. So we have to take a few more steps. So we will go back to that hamburger menu and click Rename Palette. We are gonna name that palette the same thing that we just named, perf, cut, contour. You don't have, this is not, you don't have to here, but this is what I'm doing so that I can remember. And actually, I'm gonna put a tube behind it so I remember. Okay, so now what you see is it has changed, this palette name has changed. Okay, so in the next couple of steps, it will end up down here like, like these two have, okay? So then, one more step, we are going to export this palette and um, I'm gonna just keep the name the same. It's going to download into my downloads folder, which is important because we're gonna have to re-import this. Click save, back to the hamburger menu, and this time import, we're gonna select as an application palette. Document would just be for this one document, system would be computer-wide, so application is just here for Affinity Designer, and we are going to find that um, palette that we just named that we just saved. I'm gonna to go to my list so I can find it easily. Here it is right here, click open, okay? So what that does is it has now imported um, the perf cut line for us, all right? So this is different, the perf cut line is different than the cut contour line, which has to be a very that very specific magenta. This one doesn't have to, and what you can see is now we have it up here. So how do you use this? Well, what you're gonna do, again, what I, what I was mentioning is this is great for things like stickers. So let's say we're taking our um, business you know, design, our logo and we want to create it as a sticker, but we wanna have a little bit of that perf cut line around it, contour cut around it, so that people can more easily peel the sticker off the backing or you know, kind of that sort of a thing. So first we will take the design itself and I'm gonna change the stroke color uh, from swatches, okay, so let me let me back up a little bit. So here's my design over here. There's a whole bunch of different layers. I have, you know, multiple layers here for multiple reasons. But what we wanna do is we want just, I basically also have a bleed here, but what we wanna do is we just want the design itself, the logo, to um, have a stroke color for that magenta. So we're gonna go up to stroke and we're gonna click swatches and we're gonna pick um, the cut contour line, okay? So that's that magenta, all right? It's kind of tough to see here, but it's on there. Then what we wanna do, now if I remove that, you can see that that's there. Then what we wanna do is we wanna go to our, um, our uh, outside layer. Let's see, I'm gonna... And we wanna make that stroke color, the one that we just... Um, the one that we just uh, created. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to stroke. 
I'm gonna click swatches. I have two because I created it twice, but let's just do the one that we just made. So we'll do roll in perf cut contour. And then I'm gonna pick blue. So you can see that, okay? So now if I, uh, I'm gonna uncheck this one so you can kinda see, but what you have there, if you can look closely, is pink and then blue, okay? So we have the cut contour line and then the perf contour line, all right? So I'm gonna recheck that. Now I need to export this and bring it into VersaWorks. So I'm gonna do File, Export. I'm gonna save it as a PDF, okay? And I will save, um, save it here. And then I'm going to pull this into uh, Roll in VersaWorks. And so what we, what we have in VersaWorks, um, well, first of all, I'm on a Mac, which means I can't open VersaWorks on my Mac. I have to go through um, Google Drive. But however you need to get your design onto Roll in VersaWorks, which I have a separate PC, um, go ahead and do that and bring it into VersaWorks and I'll meet you over there. All right, so now we're in VersaWorks, so now I need to import my file. So I'm just gonna go to File, uh, Add Job to Queue. And I need to find my file here, so here it is. Click Open. It will take a second and it will show up at the bottom of the queue, all right? So here it is down here. Now, what you're gonna notice about these files that have um, a cut line, a contour cut line and a cut line, is that right here in the information, it's going to say um, normal cut and then it's also going to say perforated cut. That's really important because another uh, file that you have is only going to have one A. See how that this one here only has normal cut because it doesn't have perf cut lines. But the one that we added, that perf cut line, it's gonna have both, all right? So now what I'll do, I like to just go Go into the settings to see if there's anything that I need to adjust okay so here is the design and I am changing it I changed it to draft so that uh, we I don't have to you know because I'm just doing this for a tutorial and then I duplicated it so I just did that by making two copies right here and it put them both side by side okay and then if you want to rotate them you can do that as well whatever you want to do um, but it's kind of challenging to see, but what you have is those red ants, dancing ants, and then on the outer edge, you also have the um, the darker, or the gray, or the blue, whichever one you know we used. Now, one setting that I do recommend that you change is the uh, perforated cut controls. So if you go, when you're in the settings, if you go into the cut options, because you have those perf cut lines, you're then gonna have these options down here. The only one I changed was the perf force, which is by default 170. And as you can see, I increased to 235. And I actually think I could have gone a little bit more, but this worked well for um, uh, adhesive vinyl. So we will rip it. Oops, you can just cook, rip like that. Take a second, and then we will, when that is finished, we will then send it to cut. And I click print, one copy. And this usually takes a few minutes, but it will then begin the process of printing and cutting. All right, so what you can see is that the two vinyl stickers have cut, but because we have the perf cut line around the back, I mean around the very outer edge, I'm able to pop that um, sticker completely out. Now, what you, is gonna be harder to see is that I also have a cut line um, right in here, and that is the kiss cut line. So I'm just gonna see if you can see um, where I can peel this part out. So now what you have is even if you have a sticker backing that doesn't have any type of slit making it difficult to peel a sticker off, now you have, especially if you're selling or something like that, you have something where a um, the your customer can just easily peel this sticker right off of the backing. All right, so it's really easy um, to add that perf cut line as long as you know how to do it. And again, the nice thing is it can be any, um, any color as long as you just have it named correctly um, in Affinity, okay? Let's pop this one out too. All 
All right. And then, and then even if you get a little bit of a, you know, miscut there, not a huge deal because you have um, this much nicer edge on the inside. And of course we added that bleed too. So you have no white edge. 